Hello everybody, Jake here with Chevrolet Tech Group, and if you've seen any of my videos, you've probably seen me shooting my 40 millimeter grenade launchers uh, pretty regularly. Um, these have been really popular lately, especially uh, Grand Thumb released a video shooting a bunch of different grenade launchers with a bunch of different really cool ammo. And one of the mo one of the questions that almost everybody has is where do you find ammo what ammo can you shoot um i'm not going to get into all the different kinds of ammo i have and can shoot out of this but i will go over the most common and how i shoot this thing for cheaper than some other guns i'll just say that definitely cheaper than a 50 bmg and right now cheaper than nine millimeter um so you can see my launchers in the background but Mainly what we're going to cover today is the M781 chalk round. Uh, it's made up of technically five parts. I got four of them here. You have your nose cone or windscreen. It's made out of a nylon. You have your pusher, which is a heavy, z it's all zinc, um, which is the base of the projectile. And then your chalk goes inside there and that makes up your projectile. Then your case is two parts. You have a nylon casing here that's mostly hollow but has a chamber in the back where a 38 Smith & Wesson short blank, it's a, not just a regular blank, it has a uh, copper burst disc in it and it gets pressed in there. You, sometimes you can press them in by hand but they're uh, not hard to press in just with um, rubber mallet or whatever you got laying around. Uh, the way I shoot these for cheap, if you were to go look for to buy this ammo, um, currently uh, it's sold by manufacturers without the blank installed. That way it's not considered uh, explosive material, as crazy as that sounds. Um, so what you do is you take your complete round, push the uh, blank in the bottom, and use it up that day. That way you don't need an explosives magazine or to uh, or any kind of storage requirements. Um, really weird. Hopefully that won't stay the same. So traditionally, people, uh, you can buy the components. If you buy all the components new, uh, well, if you were to buy the complete rounds without the blank installed new, you're looking at anywhere from nine to twelve dollars a round. You know, pretty expensive. There's no way I could afford to shoot these if uh, that's what I was paying. So here's what I do. Um, first of all, get one. These uh, windscreens, these nose cones, are designed to burst when they hit on impact. And that's what releases your chalk and lets the, um, and marks uh, your hits. The zinc back here has a driving band. You can see this one's used, maybe if it'll focus, just has a little bit of grooves in it no no big deal um usually it looks just like this when you pick it up but uh typically a little dirtier um your casings right here usually last a while um if they're your blanks load a little hot or if it's old casing this inner part there will crack um but you usually get at least two to three shots out of a case many times lots more and then your blanks here i buy these preloaded right now but I do know how to reload them and I save all my casings because in the future I likely will be reloading them. But it, you, um, the typical way people do it is with bullseye pistol powder, um, typical primer. These, I believe these are softer primers, but I've used pistol primers just fine. And then you cut your own burst discs just out of a uh, copper sheet material. So right now I pay about less than 50 cents for a blank. The zinc's right here, as you can see with this one, I picked up off my berm, totally reusable. Case, totally reusable unless it breaks. And this is unless you lose it. Or if you hit something really hard, it might deform. Not reusable. So what do I do? Well, on Gunbroker, they sell these. Usually, if you buy a hundred of them, you can get them for about a buck a piece. Sometimes two bucks. Uh, you might find them for cheaper if you're lucky. So right there, that's a buck fifty a piece. Not super cheap, but one of the reasons I really wanted to get into forty millimeters is because uh, there's a lot of other options. So these windscreens back here, you notice they look a little different. I three D printed all of these. I I created a STL file um, 
This one's Silk PLA. All three of these are different uh, colors of PETG, which is a little more temperature resistant, so it doesn't warp uh, if it gets too hot in storage. These, direct replacement for these, and it cost me about probably 25 cents to print one of these, depending on what plastic I use, maybe 20 cents. So now, if I'm not reloading my own blanks, I'm down to cheaper than nine mil is selling right now. Um, you know, 70, 75 cents a shot for a grenade launcher. That's not factoring in the chalk I use, uh, just because it's technically not required, but it's also pretty cheap. Uh, you buy it in these big jugs, either off Amazon or from the hardware store. This is orange, but I've loaded blue. I've mixed it and made purple. I've loaded red chalk. Um, anything you want right there. So simple as that. How do I keep, how do I put it together? Well, I fill my cone with chalk. I put a little da couple dabs of super glue around the pusher, stick it on there and give it a twist to um, spread the super glue around. And then that whole assembly literally pops right into the, uh, pops right into the case there. And then when I'm ready to shoot, I just take my blank, pop it down in there. And I have a complete loaded round. No special tools required. Um, the only thing close to a special tool I use is a punch to punch the old uh, blanks out. But I started off using a screwdriver for that. So super simple. Um, I've tested it with PLA and PETG. The only reason I use PETG is I started off selling these on GunBroker. And I didn't want to sell any to anybody in um uh say arizona where they have it in their garage and it ends up warping the petg will hold up a little bit better uh i've all this is a clear petg so um i've actually loaded these with mini glow sticks and shot them at night i'm gonna work on a video for that shooting it under nvgs um and it, that should be a pretty cool video but it's basically like a tracer round uh, not super bright, but definitely cool. Um, uh, I have noticed these are a little bit stronger than the factory ones. They're as likely to crack. Uh, so if you're shooting at salt, you know, if you're shooting into mud or tall grass, it might not burst. But just like this one, this one's been shot and it didn't break on impact landing some tall grass. Um, so... It's not much different. My favorite target, if I'm not shooting at a car or a washing machine, um, is just a piece of plywood. It let, releases the chalk well, punches a nice 40 millimeter hole right through the plywood. Um, just a good time. I usually keep a couple pieces of scrap, you know, four by four foot uh, plywood laying around. Later on, I'm gonna go over in uh, next video some uh, other rounds. This is the completed um, 3D or completed M781 chalk round with a 3D print nose clone cone just to compare it to a factory round uh, with all factory components. This is a riot round. You've seen me shoot a couple of these. Um, even easier to reload, and I'll show that later. And then I have a bunch of these cases as well, which were rubber buckshot cases. And I've loaded flares, smoke, all sorts of things into here. We'll get into that later as well. And also, another thing I'm working on is I got a bunch of these aluminum cases. I'm working on uh, loading for them. They take a different kind of blank, but uh, with a little bit of force, you can fit the zinc projectiles in there too. Um, so this is how I shoot my 40 millimeters for super cheap. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, as I said, I designed these uh, nose cones. Um, you will you may find them on the internet. I just found somebody selling them for money. Kind of uh, upset me a little bit because I do, in fact, share these files for free. I started off selling them and um, just wasn't really worth my time. So I share them for free for non-commercial reasons. If you want to print your, if you have a 40 millimeter, if you're thinking about getting into it, you want it, that file to print it, let me know. Um, I will email it to you. If you no, have a website where you can host that file for people to download, I'm not a computer wizard, but, uh, or if you know anybody from Deterrence Dispensed or any of those kinds of websites, 
let me know. I'll get them the file. I have some other stuff I've been working on. Here's a, uh, it's hollow, but it's just like a, kind of like a practice projectile. Kind of same idea, but super cheap to shoot. You know, you print that for 50 cents and there's your whole projectile. Like, uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe, leave a comment, share it with your friends. Um, next time some you see somebody post, yeah, 40 millimeter launchers are cool, but you can't buy ammo for them or they're $10 a round. Show them this video. 75 cents a shot once you get a few components and uh, it puts a smile on everyone's face. Once again, this is Jake with ChevTech Group. Uh, see you next time.